Hi, YouTube family and friends. This is Diana. I thought since I have a new channel, I would come on here and share with you a little bit about myself. My family and Miss Summer Wells family were a lot alike. Okay, I grew up in a drug family. And uh, it's not pretty, especially when you're little. I didn't understand a whole lot of it, but I did later on in my teens. Oh, you better believe it. So what I wanted to say is we had a, um, a supplier early on. Yeah, you know, our drug dealer early on in my life was our grandma. Yep, I know this is, I hate even saying this. I don't like saying this. But, you know, some truth should come out. Some truth should come out. And a lot of people, they don't understand anything about drug families because they don't come from them. And I understand that. I wish I was one of you. Actually, I would love to know nothing about them. That would make me happy. It really would. Because it's, it's never a pretty thing. It's never a good thing. But I remember early on in my life when my grandma had an injury Yes, grandma has ailments. She needs to go to the hospital sometimes because we've got to get pain meds. Therein lies the reason why my grandmother was the drug dealer of our family early on, and I don't even think she knew it. But maybe she did later. I don't know. She never said anything to me about it other than little, you know, smart quips about it. But I knew something was going on when I was small because if grandma needed to go to the store, nobody was there to take her. Nobody would take her to the store. And I remember when I was about 16, 17, I would always take her. I, she would say, I got to go to the store. Oh, let's go. I'll, I'll help you. We'll go to the store. We'll do what you need to do. Or, you know, you want to go to the laundry mat? Okay, I'll, let's take you. I just got a driver's license. So yeah, I'm loving life. I'll take grandma anywhere she wants to go. And then one day, she told me, she said, I need to go to the store. And I asked her, why can't one of my aunts take you? Because they actually live there with her. And she said, oh, they only take me when I have to go to the hospital. Why is that? Why is it they only took her when she had to go to the hospital? I think we all know the answer to this one. Or maybe, and again, I'm trying to enlighten the families that aren't in drug families. The answer to that is grandma's getting pain meds if she goes to the hospital. So anybody will take her to the hospital in my family. Shit, they'll ask her if she needs to go to the hospital before she gets sick. A little bit of real, real there. Yeah. So she would tell me little quips like, well, nobody will take me uh, to the store, but anybody, it, they'll all take me to the hospital. And I, I really didn't understand it at first, but then I started noticing things. Like certain people would be asking grandma, how do you feel? Oh, is your knee hurting you? Get it? Is your knee hurting you? So concerned. They were very concerned for her um, living without pain. But then she told me later on, every time they would take her to the, the knee doctor or the hospital, she had bad knees. Yeah, and she really did. That was not you know, BS. She really did. But they weren't asking her out of concern. The thing was later on, when they would take her to the doctor, she would have to give them some of her pain meds for taking her. And she thought that was fair. I said, Grandma, I don't ask you for half your groceries when I take you to the store. So why are you sharing your meds? Don't share your meds. Well, this caused a big row in my family. I mean, it almost split our family up. When the ones that were taking grandma, you know, to the hospital found out I said that, I was almost ousted out of the family that very same day. Okay. So it's caused a big rift. My mom got involved. Everybody got involved. There was split sides. It was horrible. It was really horrible, you know. And so, yeah. My point here early on is grandma was our drug dealer. She was the drug dealer in our family. And how does that pertain to this 
case at all? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. But I do know that Candace was taking grandma to the doctor because of her knee. I've heard this story before. It didn't hit me at first. It really didn't. I really didn't think about it. But as I started thinking of my own life and the crap that went on in my life, I totally understand a drug family. I totally understand. I came from it. You know, and a lot worse happened. Oh, believe me, I'm not going to spill everything about my family. I mean, that was bad enough. I probably will later on because I'm, I'm an open book. If you have uh, questions, let me know. And I will give you the answers whatever I can, you know, because I'm not shutting down my life. So I look good over other people in YouTube and still get to pass judgments bullshit. We had bad lives. Maybe we still do. It's okay. It happens. It's called life. Anyway, that doesn't pertain to the Summer Wells case other than coincidences. Is it a coincidence that Candace was taking grandma to the hospital to get pain meds? Possibly. I don't know what kind of meds she got. Maybe it wasn't even pain meds. I'm speculating it was, though, because she keeps talking about how bad it hurt her. Candace keeps talking about how bad grandma's knee hurt. I've seen it a lot where she's saying the boys hurt her knee really bad, her really bad knee. The boys hurt it really bad. Well, maybe the boys hurt it. I don't know. I don't know how she hurt her knee or how long that had been going on. And then there's the, I had to straighten her knee brace. I had to, you know, help her with her knee brace. Okay. Well, in normal families, this is a normal thing. You really do normal stuff. You take your grandma to the hospital. You're not looking to get kick downs for it, you know, so you can get high later. Yeah. So. Did Candace just take mom just because she was very, very concerned about mom's knee and that she wanted to make sure that mom went through no pain? You know, uh, I couldn't tell you that. I am telling you I have insight. I have insight. I have lived in one of these families. And, you know, I have even came in and seen some of my family so damn high the rug's already on fire from the cigarette that fell like five minutes before, but damn near burned the house down because I caught it in time. I mean, they get wasted. Wasted means I don't know what the hell's going on around me, nor do I give a shit. And that's why they get wasted to begin with. I don't want to know what's going on around me. <laughs> and nor do I want to give a crap. You know, that's a whole lot of it. And who doesn't want to escape once in a while? Hey, I'm not putting them down. Not putting them down. Because I'll tell you why. All of us has been through something that makes you want to forget it. Yeah. And that's usually the start of drugs for most of us. Not all of us, but for most of us. It's something you can't deal with. Some shit you can't handle. You don't want to know. You don't want to be in it. But if you take a little something, something... You ain't in it for a while. But then again, you are dead to the world. So you can't really do things like go to the store, go to the hospital, watch your child. And that's when these accidents happen. Accidents. And that's what they are. They're accidents because somebody... Uh, was not in their right mind at the time to make the judgment they needed to make or or maybe you know put them completely almost out a few things that uh, bother me about this case is the video is her arm moving did her arm move i don't know why would you why would you care if her arm moved unless you thought there was a reason it wasn't she wasn't going to be able to move it i don't know not popular opinion. I'm not going with popular opinion because it's the popular one. I'm going with what maybe could have happened. 
And if everybody wants to turn the blind eye and go, oh my God, that couldn't have happened because that's bad. No, it shit can happen. And bad stuff can happen. You know, could there have been an accident that day? Yeah, there could have been an accident that day. When you, when Candace took grandma to the hospital, did she get pain meds? They went back to Walgreens. Were they picking up pain meds? What were they picking up? It may not have even been pain meds. It was meds. Usually when you've got pain and you're picking up meds, they're usually for pain. Okay. That's just common sense. Why wouldn't they be? So, you know, my thing is, did she go to Walgreens with grandma and an accident happened after that? Lots of accidents happen in drug families. Were they stoned when they left? Maybe not. H said she doesn't even drive if she's had two drinks. Candace didn't have that, that twisted tea because then she couldn't drive because she'd be impaired. Okay, well, that's, that's H's side of it, and I do hear that, and maybe that's how she was. Maybe she wasn't impaired at all. Maybe she hadn't hit anything before she left the house. I don't know. You know, none of us can really know that. How can we know that? But what I'm telling you is, yeah, I understand that accidents can happen in drug families. You know, I was raised in a drug family. I'd like to say I wasn't. Oh, I'd love to say I wasn't. But you know what? I was. So if any of you have questions, are any of you really speculating on this? Maybe, maybe not. But if you are, please let me know, because this could be a theory. There is, according to Candace, some time missing from the time that they went to that water hole, went to the grocery store, got to the house. There's time missing here, guys. What is going on in this time that's missing? Did they make it to the house? Did Summer get out and plant flowers? Did the boys see Summer? I've heard nothing about the boys. Of course, you know, of course you're not. They're, you're not going to hear a bunch about the boys because they're minors. But I would love to know what they have to say. Are they going to say they seen Summer? Are they going to say that they helped get the groceries out and they seen Summer? Did they see Summer go downstairs? Because then that would that would fit into the abduction theory, which abduction may be far-fetched though for it being a stranger to me. Some stranger came up into this and just took this five-year-old. Hmm. I'm thinking not a stranger if there was an abduction. I'm really thinking that. And if there was an abduction, how far do we go with this abduction, you know? Is it family, friends, church, somebody that had a vendetta against them? Somebody wanted to see Summer with a better life? I don't know. I know you guys, you guys are on this too, so please let me know what you think. But anyway, this is kind of my introduction to me. I am a new channel. My name is Diana, and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I would love to hear your comments. I used to watch these kind of shows with my mother which um, it was our total life. We watched Jodi Arias. We watched OJ Trial. We watched every trial there was. We watched Dateline. I mean, it was our thing. Me and my mother loved these. We loved solving these. Loved it. Well, my mother has passed now. My mother got throat cancer and didn't make it. So the reason why I started this channel was so I'd have somebody, <laughs> and that's you guys, to watch these stories with. I'm not alone anymore. I can talk to you guys about it. And oh, it's just a joy because that was the best part of my life. I miss my mother greatly. And I would love to talk to you guys about this. I mean, please give me a comment below and let me know what you think. If I'm full of crap, that's great too because it <laughs> wouldn't be the first time I heard it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, introduction. I've got my introduction done and I appreciate each and every one of you. 
And I would love you to comment below on your theory. I would love you to comment below if you want to know anything about drug families and, uh, you know, how they function. I can't tell you about all of them, but I can tell you about mine. And I will. I'm very truthful. I would never sugarcoat something to make myself look better. So anyway, hey, thanks for joining me, guys. And I can't wait to see you on the next one. Please comment below and let me know what your theory is. Or let me know if you think I'm so far off that it's just outrageous crazy. So bye for now.